Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jimma73 back with the Double E Show. It's Art of Murder. The Secret Files. Welcome back, everybody. So, when we left off two weeks ago, uh, we were hot on the trail of our uh, suspect in the murder of a CIA agent and the kidnapping of a doctor who was working with the CIA. Uh, We ended up in the town, and uh, let's see, that's uh, to the hotel, that's to the bar. I don't see anything else to really look at, so let's go to the bar. It looks like there is a bartender to talk with, Uh, right? So I move this around, that's to town. Nothing there. Okay, so let's talk to the bartender. Good morning. What can I do for you? I'm looking for someone. A man named Brenner. And who's he? An American researcher. A professor. Don't know. He was with two men. They were Mexican. I have the likeness of one of them with me. Maybe you could take a look? No. It's really important that I meet with him. I don't have time. Do you see this mess? I have to tidy up all these bottles. I left my employee without supervision for half an hour, and look at the pigsty he left behind. I'll help you. Which bottles are you talking about? All right, the big ones with the yellow label. Okay, so I gotta find uh, these. Uh, some puzzles obtain objects which can be moved or opened to reveal hidden objects. Okay. So that bottle. That bottle, that bottle, that bottle, that bottle, that bottle, that bottle, get five more, that bottle right there, Uh, objects that can be opened to reveal other objects, that bottle, okay, that bottle, that bottle, we've got one more bottle left to find, um, there it is. Okay. Work always goes faster if there's someone to help. I had to fire that slob. Aren't you sorry? Maybe I am. So what? I can't afford to have an employee. You know how much money they're milking out of me. Who? Tax collectors? I wish. The guys who are protecting my business. The police? Nah, I see you're not from around here. Yeah, I do have to give some money to tax collectors, the police, or legal advisors. But that's just like a bottle of some good liquor and a nice dinner every now and again. But it's the mafia that's uh, ruining my business. And you can't do anything about it? What can I do? Right? Okay. So, um... View of the counter. So what, closer? Ah, a puzzle in a bar like this to entertain bored customers? No, I think I have to form some sort of password out of these letters. Well, this is where we probably get the that cube that we have on us that has an A to spell Mexicana, which is the name of the drink. All right. The A block I found in the professor's apartment is just like these blocks. It was rolled up in a piece of paper with a cocktail recipe on it. Is that a clue? What am I supposed to do with these letters? Okay, so... Puzzle element. Click on the blocks to move them and form the correct word. Okay, so...
This isn't going to work. This is going to be a pain in the butt. I'm going to figure it out, and I'll come back. All right, I think I've got it. Mexicana. I wonder what the bartender will have to say about this. Okay, so we go back to the bar. Uh, what do you make of this? I thought you'd never guess the password. I thought you were just an instigator. It took me a while, but it's always good to be wary of people. All right. Now tell me who uh, tell me why why you're here. Do you recognize this man? Uh, I think uh, I think he was here, but he wasn't wearing a hat. Uh, what kind of hair did he have? Hair? Hmm. I think he had short hair. He had a high forehead and raised eyebrows. He had pursed lips. His, and his ears were sticking out a bit. His eyebrows were raised. He had a big. He had a high forehead. His lips were pursed, and his ears were sticking out a bit. They ju you just said that. All right. So let's uh, let's go to hair. Um, hmm. Do eyebrows. Eyebrows, yeah. Okay, lips. Pursed, huh? What does pursed mean? I wonder if that's what it means. Okay. Uh, he had no... He had a hat. No. Okay. He had eyebrows, just like those. His mouth looked just like that. That's what his hair looked like. Okay. Now, do those ears. Let's see. What kind of ears do we want to try? They stuck out just a bit. Maybe those? Uh, yeah, that's what he looked like. Excellent. Okay, cool. My composite sketch is complete. That's improper. Okay, I'll give this to the Mexican police so that they may send it to police stations throughout the country. But right now... It'll come in handy to track the kidnappers. Okay. Uh, all right. I remember him. Did he say what his name is? Alvarez. Where was he staying? In the hotel. But I think he was planning on spending only one night here, so he probably left by now. Thank you. And have a nice day. I'll keep in touch. Goodbye. Okay, so, very interesting. So I suppose we have, well, we still have this thing here. Uh, one part grenadine, so, it, yeah, I don't know what that's for. But apparently nothing, because there's nothing else I can do in the bar here. Uh, but I can leave to go out to the town. So, um, I suppose we go to the hotel, see if he's there. Um, town, reception, okay, I'm assuming it's reception, yeah, that looks like a hotel, the professor might have been taken to this hotel, I have to find out which room he stayed in, got the little glowing signal there, little glowing signal there, okay, Ah, there we go. Guest book. Okay, I have to find all these things. And when I do, I'll be right back. All right. And the letter Y. Okay, so the guest book. The kidnapper's signature must be in here somewhere. Okay, so... That's the receipt. Um... I don't see there. I don't see there. Okay, let's go back this way. 
There it is, right there. Yesterday's date, a Roberto Alvarez and two other people, room number six. Okay. Um. Okay. All right, let me see. I think I talked to him. I would like to rent a room. For long? One night? Of course, but I wouldn't call this a five-star hotel. How are the rooms situated? Uh, rooms two and three face the front. Rooms five and six have a view of the garden. I'll take room number six. It's my lucky number. It hasn't been cleaned after the last guest. I suggest that you take room number five. And could you take a look at this sketch? Have you seen this man today? Uh, let me see. This guy? No. Are you sure? He signed the guest book. Here's his name. Room 6, Alvarez. Ah, you're talking about Alvarez. Yes, I saw him. Only not on a sketch. I didn't understand what you had in mind. Okay. I'm taking room number 6, but housekeeping hasn't been there yet. That's not a problem. You can clean up later. I want to take my things up. If that's what you want, but if anyone asks, I don't know nothing. Of course you don't. Can I have the key? There's the key. Excellent. Got it. That it? Okay. Well, there's room six right there. Okay. Key. Room six. There we go. Now we are in the room. They left the room in a hurry. Why the rush? Okay. Uh, they forgot to take all their things. This will help me establish if the professor was here. Okay. We got uh, shoes. Uh, we got a wrench. Uh, alarm clock right there. Uh, suitcase. Uh, up there. Sign right there. Jacket right there. Paper. No, not those. Okay, that was a hat. Um, no. Okay, I don't see paper. Uh, files. Uh, very hard to see in the dark here. Uh, a vinyl plate. That would be a record. A balloon. The do not disturb sign on the door. Well, a little more help for clues. Uh, so I need a paper and files. Paper and files. I don't see... Oh, there we go. That was paper. Now files. Hidden in the dark. Oh, okay. Well, let's use one of these clues here. There's files up here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now, um, that's everything, right? So, oh, two places to look. Uh, bathroom and table. Okay, so let's uh, start with the bathroom. Uh, okay, more work. All right, let me uh, let me find the stuff in here, and I'll be right back. All right, so I need to find garden shears and a pencil. There's the garden shears. There's a pencil. All right, big garden shears for trimming trees. Okay. And a soft pencil. Okay. Not sure what that does. Uh, let's look out the window. Uh, need to find... There's a cigarette butt right there. Okay. Another cigarette butt. The same brand. All this points towards one perpetrator who apparently doesn't know that smoking can kill you. I've seen a cigarette like this before at the gas station. Okay. So we got that. 
Is that it in here? I uh, yep. Back to the room. Okay, and let's look at the table. Okay, small notebook. Someone's wrote something on this. Okay, so can I take it? Nope. All right. So I'm gonna take this. There we go. La Hacienda del Norte. I think the kidnapper, kidnapper jotted information concerning where he was taking the professor. I have to find out if I'm right. From the evidence I found, I can safely assume that the professor was here last night. That's good news. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go back down to the lobby. It's really messy in there. I don't want to sleep in that room. But that's what I've been telling you. But I wasn't expecting such a big mess. No problem. I'll give you another room. You know what? Thanks. But I think I'll drive up to the next town. Are you a tourist? Yes, but I'm a little lost. Well, there's not much to do here. I agree. Goodbye. And please don't be mad at me. Don't worry about that. Okay, so, looks like we head up to the Hacienda del Norte, and when we come back next week, we will explore the next avenue of clues. If you liked what you watched, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions, tips, tricks, no spoilers, put them in the comments below, because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Monday for another episode of Art of Murder. The Secret Files. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above. Or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.